Hi, Lynn. Hey, uh, I'm looking at your DEX page. Well, actually, this is a test page that I made. Um, I'm going to go and, uh, sorry, open up a new dashboard page because I wanted to show you the DEX page and my test page that I made. Um, the issue was that the sidebar needed more space. So, hang on a second, no matter where you put your columns, the sidebar didn't feel like it had enough space. Even if you had a row here with three columns and you thought that would leave a sidebar spot, it, it cuts it off. And then if you wanted a sidebar here but two columns here, um, you can't do it. So what I ended up doing is creating a test page and I added what's called a specialty section. And then I looked for a layout that was similar to what you wanted. I think I picked this one. So I added the sidebar module here and I'm going to leave it open. Up here I added your large text area. And actually you might want to consider putting in uh, instead of using bold, use things like H2, H3. I'll tell you why later. But you might want to put something like that up here at the top as a heading before you start using regular text. So keep that in mind. And then what I did was I put in two columns and then I tried out what three columns would look like. So let me show you what that page looks like. Up here at the top is your text area. Here's the sidebar, and then I've got two images with text below, and then down here are three images because I think that's how you had it set up. I wanted to show you a couple other things. So here I've got two images, and down here I've got three, but what I did was I just cl I set up one image with some text below it and then I just cloned it. So you, if you click on, so here I'll show you what I did. Let me just take that out. The modules were already set up in three columns and what I do is I just click on this little button which is clone and then I drag it over here. Okay, so now I've got three things to look at for the draft page which is great, but they're all the same what you can do, two things, you can grab this image and paste it down here and grab that text and paste it here. Or, here's a cool thing, I'm going to take those out because they're just duplicates. I can take this image here and duplicate it and duplicate this text and then if I drag it down here it takes it into a one-third column size, which is pretty neat. So then I'm going to update this page and go take a look and I, uh, see, there we go. So now we've got your, your content up here. It'd be great to have this large heading up at the top. So you can move that around or edit. Now we've got two pictures. Did I not save it? Maybe I didn't save it. Hang on. Update the page. Oh, that's the preview. Here's the page. So, I'm going to update the test page. And I've got two pictures. And this one is empty. But see, the sidebar works, which is terrific. So, what I'm going to do now is... Let's see... I need to figure out which other image you want. So we've got this house, the green one, and this one with the view. That's a nice place. And the one with the view is the second one. So here I am. I'm going to grab that image URL. And then I'm going over here. I'm going to put in the picture. See, I'm going to paste it here. Save that. And then, let's 
see. I forget which one. So I want this low maintenance. I'm just going to pay. I'm just going to copy it from here. If it's more text, you could copy it from the dashboard. So I'm going to put in a little text module and paste in that text. Save it and update the page and refresh the test page and see what it looks like. There we go. We've got your text. Oh, up here you'd need to edit this. And you can change the colors for that if you want. There's your text, sidebar, two pictures, and then we've got three columns. What you might want to do is go in and edit the size of these images so that they're all even. Um, and it looks like this went in as gray and this is black or dark gray. But anyway, that's, um, that's what I did. So one other thing you can do is you can um, duplicate a page if you want and then paste in no, I guess I don't have that plugin. Anyway, I've got a plugin I could add if you want. We should talk about it, about um, how to clone a page. Um, anyway, give me a call when you have a chance, and I think this helps. Go through and make another test page with that, um, that specialty layout. Okay? Thanks.